welcome back to the world of Morgo. So we're going on an adventure. Um, it's 2021 and I decided that this year I really just want to start traveling, adventuring, solo more. Um, so I decided to book my first little trip and we're doing getaway house. Um, so it's like, you know, uh, those little tiny houses in the woods. Um, and I am traveling to the North Carolina location because they have locations everywhere. They have location DC, New York, I think LA and a few other places. So I decided to get away and do, um, North Carolina. So yeah, I'm going to vlog everything give you guys a tour of the space all of that what I do if I go hiking or exploring walking you know I'm a I'm a vlog it for you guys so you can get the full experience and um let's go I will check in with you guys upon arrival Okay, also I've officially made it to my getaway house in Asheboro, North Carolina. Here's what the outside looks like. Um, let's walk over here. You got a campfire kit so you can start your little fire if you wanna, you know, grill some hot dogs, roast some marshmallows for your s'mores, you know. Got your chair so you can lounge out here. You got a picnic table. And then let's come on up. They have them all named so you can easily find. The one I'm staying in is Ralph. All right. At first glance, here's what it looks like. I know it's a little dark right now, so I might redo this in the morning, but we'll see. Um, they greeted me with a nice little note. Morgan, welcome to Getaway. We hope you enjoy your tiny sanctuary. Enjoy some s'mores. They gave us a s'mores kit. I don't know about that fire. I might just have to roast them on the stove, but we'll see. Um, also, shout out to my mom for cooking me food for the weekend, so I'm squared away on meals. Um, you got your refrigerator, trash can under here. You got a sink, dishware. You can't really see it, okay, there we go. Dishware, all of your utensils, knives, scissors, lighters. You got a pot and a pan. You got silverware, salt and peppers back there. You got a little radio, you got some books, um, phone if you need to call staff. Um, so you can adjust the temperature in here. Here's the, here's the bed. Um, I just put this down, but this like, hold on, let me get it. You can like, okay, wrong way wrong way you can like roll it up and then you can bring that one down too um okay got you a little hold on there we go it won't focus okay got you a little lantern here um hooks so you can hang up your coats and stuff and then here's what the bathroom looks like let me turn the light on um toilet First aid kit, trash can, towels, more toilet paper. And then here's what the shower looks like. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Got hooks on the back of the door. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm loving the vibe. Here, don't think I'd show y'all the stove, but got a nice little teapot. Everything you need fire extinguisher sorry y'all if it's blurry it's i don't know how to focus this camera correctly um and then you have a cell phone lock box that you can lock your phone in i'm not doing that but you can if you want to and yeah just super cute um the staff was very communicative um during you know planning my stay and getting me here they send you a code and that's how you so so they send you a code and then you put the code in here okay y'all so it's the next day and i realized i kind of left a few things out when i was doing my um 
walkthrough yesterday so i'm gonna show y'all really quick so if you open this there's a little mirror here um i didn't think to bring a mirror which is smart if you need to do like your makeup or anything like that or if you plan to like head out and you want to see what you look like they have one but if you want a bigger one definitely bring a bigger one um the fridge just show y'all what it looks like for sizing um it can fit a lot and then if you open this this is where your recycle bin trash can you have your paper towels extra paper towels extra trash bags handheld um like broom situation and then aluminum foil and then this is pet friendly um so they have like a dog bowl back there too and yeah that was all <laughs> okay so we're gonna get into some things um this is my first little solo trip but even though i went alone i wasn't really alone uh, my initial impression of getaway house was just being dumped off in the woods somewhere but it's not actually like that at all this location had about 30 getaway houses and i had neighbors to the right and to the left of me um so even though i was alone i wasn't really alone i also took my knife and pepper spray with me uh, because you can never be too safe because you know i am a woman i was alone and a black woman alone at that so i stayed ready to whoop some butt if needed you know um, but for the most part, I did feel very safe. No one bothered me or anything like that. And it wasn't scary at all. Like, I really had a blast. I spent most of my time reading. I finished a book. I journaled a lot. I ate. I slept. Took a lot of naps. Did yoga, prayer, meditation. You know, I danced a lot and listened to a lot of music. I also downloaded some movies and shows on Netflix on my iPod on my iPad ooh excuse me um <laughs> so I was able to watch some TV which was great um it was nice to just be still and not do anything no work no worries no emails no calls just literally me being alone doing my thing um plan to not have service because the getaway houses do not have wi-fi I did have service um, because I thought we were really just going to be off in the middle of nowhere, but it's not like that at all. So I was able to have service, but, um, I can't speak for the other locations. So definitely plan to not have service. Um, my trip costs about $450. The weekends are more expensive. So keep that in mind. Um, the weekdays are cheaper and you can book one night if you'd like to. However, um, if you book on the weekends, there's a two night minimum stay so just keep that in mind um i don't think you would really get the full experience with one night so i recommend doing two or more and also look around at the different locations because the prices vary i chose the north carolina location because the dc location is literally always booked up and at the time the North Carolina location just had a lot of spots open and the price was cheaper. Plus I felt like really getting away and getting that feeling of escaping. So, you know, why not go to another state? But overall, I would say that my experience was a 10 out of 10 and I would definitely do it again. Um, maybe like go to another location or like fly to another state and do a getaway house there because they have basically they have the houses in like all major like an hour or two away from all major cities in the u.s um and yeah my my experience was great y'all like 10 out of 10 quality the staff were super nice and the communication was great I actually broke the blinds um, one morning in the staff. I called them and they came right away and fixed that for me. They had their mask on, all the good stuff. Here are my little s'mores I did on the stove, not the campfire because, yeah, no. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think and if y'all are going to go or not. That's all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>